Hello everyone, this is the CRT Productions here joining you once again with the HP Compaq 8710W. A very nice, uh, very nice laptop, uh, industrial design, mid 2000s. Very nice design for Windows Vista, of course, uh, as there are many users out there of Windows Vista and Windows XP. Uh, I bring to you today a very exciting development for us users of those dated operating systems. So, um, a while back I did a video on testing out some web browsers that are compatible with these older operating systems like Firefox 52, uh, Chrome 40 something, 49 I think, older, uh, older browsers and uh, as well as MyPal, the current, uh, currently supported browser. Um, yeah, that was uh, version 28 I believe of my pal that I tested in that video and s right around the same time I made that video um, my pal received a significant update to the version 68 um, and that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video so I'm doing a screen grab on the HP Compaq 8710W with the uh, Core 2 Duo uh, T9300 uh, mobile processor and an old Quadro graphics card, the FX 1700 um, and yeah we're just gonna really quickly here test this thing out I've got it right here this is the new version my pal will open it up real quick keep in mind doing a screen grab with a very old laptop with very dated specifications I'll open up about really quick here see it's version 68.12.3b um, that's the new version that was released just a, a few months ago but we're getting around to it now. Um, go ahead and open YouTube real quick. You know, um, yeah, if you had a brand new computer with an NVMe SSD, it would be a little quicker than that, but we're working here with, on a 7200 RPM hard drive, you know, with a Core 2 Duo, dual core uh, CPU. Um, ben Shapiro pops up as the first video <laughs> for some reason, but uh, never mind that, we just want to see here the little preview that uh, YouTube shows you when you hover over a video, plays just fine. Then come over here to this video here, hover over it, see that video pop up. Very nice, get off of YouTube, let's go over to the Discord server, let's see how that goes. Um, might be able to hear the fan on the laptop, that is running quite, uh, quite fast at this point, as you would probably guess. But, you know, we're loading up Discord here. Um, oh, it's going to load my private channel. All right, wait a second now. Let's not do that. Let's go to general. There we are. We're in general. Um, very interesting things going on in the Discord server, as always. Um, but yeah, you can see here, working perfectly fine. Let's scroll through the messages. We can switch over to another channel really quickly here. Uh, all while doing a screen recording here on this laptop, this is something that would have my point point being here. This is something we would have absolutely not been able to do uh, before this browser, um, especially Firefox 52, extremely um, intense on a hardware usage on your uh, computer hardware, very resource uh, intense browser. Uh, it, the older version worked great uh, compared to the other options that there were, the old versions of Firefox and Chrome, Internet Explorer. Uh, certainly, but yeah, this browser I'm going to, uh, in this video, test it out a little bit more, give you some more examples of websites that work on it. Alright, so taking away the element of the video recording, screen recording, whatever. I'm going to open up the older version of MyPal here. Um, those Google, let me see, it's completely different. I'm really glad uh, it's not like this anymore. This was based off of uh, Pale Moon, which I think is it. Yeah, it is right there. Um, Pale Moon, uh, version 28.14.2. Um, the new version is 68. Yeah, let's go to YouTube in this. Just compare it. You saw me go to YouTube before. Again, you know, to reiterate here, this browser works a lot better than the other old browsers uh, for Windows XP, like uh, Firefox 52, which I have down here. 
Uh, but yeah, you can see here, it loads up, it works, which is, you know, again, that's better than the other old browsers, it just just working. Uh, but yeah, it'll load the uh, preview here. So, you know, it works. There it is. It does work, um, but considerably slower than what we saw with the other browser there. Alright, so I had to log in again. Uh, but anyway, we're in here. Here's what I was talking about right here. Make sure we're focused on that. So yeah, you see these big chunky scroll bars on here and everything. It works, you know, it works. But uh, these uh, little dots that show people's statuses are missing for some reason. They're all black. Um, so that's kind of weird. It's, it's a little glitchy. You don't see the button here. Never mind the uh, the contents of what you're seeing here. Just, you know, for example here, you know, it shows some of the little emojis there. It has this big scroll bar here on your uh, channels, even though there's no scroll button. Um, but anyway, yeah, just, it, it, again, you know, it works. It works, but it's a little bit goofy, a little bit chunky, a little bit slow. All right, so in older version of my pal, um, I'm going to load up a Word document. And this is something I don't normally do. I don't know if it'll even do this. Supposedly, you can now access Microsoft Word online for free. I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I'm not on a premium uh, subscription here, but yeah, that seems to work. It's slow, but pull that up. Let me try to type something here. There you go. All right, so that works fine. Now we'll con compare HTML5 tests real quick. This is the old version. It's 4.27. The new version is 4.53. Bigger number, better. Uh, let's load up Facebook here in the old version. Um, yeah, that looks, that looks fine. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to scroll here. There it is. Meta. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Whoa, okay. All right. I forgot about the crap that's on this. This is my troll Facebook account. Very interesting things come up in my feed on here. But yeah, it works fine. It's, uh, it's a little slow on the scrolling. I don't know if you can see my finger. Yeah, you can see my finger there scrolling. You know, it's not super responsive, um, but that works fine. So we're on the newer version of MyPal here on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Uh, it took a moment to connect. Again, I uh, don't think that's related to the browser. Uh, it just took it a minute to connect to Facebook, um, but it's working now. We got Marketplace up. I'll go to the uh, home page. In a moment, I just felt like going to this for some reason. All right, so I happen to not be on my troll account on this browser, but um, yeah, I can't be bothered to figure out what my login info is for that. Now uh, you can see here we're watching an ad. Uh, that worked fine. We scroll through stuff here. Whoa! All right, we scrolled through a lot of stuff there uh, as it happens, but yeah, uh, it works fine another ad there's another ad for you there you go but yeah Facebook works fine both of these browsers really so there you go now all right so here's my fruity Windows XP installation Windows XP Delta edition and uh, the best version of Windows XP obviously and uh, I've gotten my pal here in the folder I'm gonna open it up on here and we're just gonna take a look and see how it works on a old uh, Sony Vio K45 uh, Pentium 4 laptop. I'm gonna go ahead on and try YouTube here. Um, obviously this browser will open YouTube, we know that, but uh, on this older hardware, this is just a quick little test here to see how this old hardware handles YouTube in my pal 68 and there you go we loaded the page it's going i'm not logged in so it's going to load this weird advertisement let's not mind that let's um see this uh, airplane video 
See if we can hover over that and see a quick little preview of that. All right, let's try playing a YouTube video in this browser here. We got the page loading up. Um, I don't think I've ever. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I've ever successfully opened YouTube on this laptop before. Um, but it's loading an advertisement here. There you go. Pause that. Uh, I would change the quality to. 240p if I could. This is probably trying to load in HD. Yeah, it looks, looks like it is. It loads YouTube. Um, can't change the quality on an advertisement, unfortunately. Can't skip it at the moment either, so... Yeah, there, there we go. Skip that. Let's see if we can set the video to a low quality setting so that we can play the video. 480p, way too much for this laptop. Can't handle that. Not 4K, let's not do 4K. Let's do 240. Let's try 240, see if it can, see if it'll play that or not. Um, I had the audio muted, so that's whatever. Here it goes, it's trying. Oh boy, it's trying. It's trying. I pause it. Play. No. no. I don't think. I don't think so. I don't think that's probably gonna work out right there. All right. So here's a fun website, browserbench.org. A member of the Discord uh, directed my attention towards this recently, and uh, I want to run it on this browser just to see. Uh, I don't know if it'll even do anything or not. Let's see if it'll work with this or not. It basically does this over and over again, um, and it'll give you a number at the end. Um, I did it on my cell phone, and uh, I got a score, I don't remember what it was, like 25, I think. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes on here. And this will take a while, so I'll be back later. Um, this thing gets a 36.6, so there you go, it did better than my cell phone. This computer is more powerful than my cell phone. So there you go. So now that we've done it in the new version over there of MyPal, let's try it in the older version. Bench, Browserbench.org uh, speedometer. Let's try it. Let's see how long this takes. Alright, so we're limping into the finish here with this browser. Uh, about seven minutes later, and we get a 15.6. And then that was, uh, you know, the other one got 30, I already forgot, 36, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, 36.6 or something like that. Um, so, yeah, this it got destroyed. This old browser got destroyed by the newer version in the benchmark here. Uh, I like this website. I'm glad I, uh, I'm glad I uh, discovered it. Um, but anyway, yeah. Join the Discord. That's all I can say about that. But anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's quite a shocking number right there. Fifteen point six. I would love to run this in, uh, you know, Internet Explorer or Firefox fifty two. Let's see how long that takes to open. But yeah, I don't really feel like waiting half an hour for it to finish. So we're just comparing the two versions of my pal today. Uh, that's That was previously the best browser for Windows XP and Vista, but now we have the new MyPal here. It blows everything else that we had for Windows XP and Vista out of the water. Uh, let's see, we got about 35 minutes on the battery left, so I better go get this laptop on the charger. But the good thing is, I can now use that laptop again for web browsing. Um, without the uh, crustiness of the other old browsers I was using before. So I thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to let me know. Join the CRT Shack. As of July 1st, it'll be back to normal, which is very nice. This video is probably going up July 1st, so it doesn't really matter at this point. Thank you for watching, and stay safe out there.